You're afraid of it to be visible. You're afraid of it to be visible in your business, in your life, in dating, in marriage, in parenthood. Are you afraid of it to be visible? Are you afraid of it to speak your truth? Are you afraid of it that somebody is going to misunderstand you? Well, welcome to my world and people will probably misunderstand you because it's based on their perception and based on the way how they see you. You need to be you. You need to speak your truth no matter what. And my name is Yelena and I was born as energy healer. I was born as medium. I could see people who crossed over when I was a little girl. Born in a, at the time, my country was part of the communism. It wasn't democratic and nothing of that could have been shown. We couldn't be even said, we couldn't even say in our household that we are Catholics because my parents, because of their position and their jobs back then in a the communism, they couldn't even say it. So I was christened, not in my capital city where I was born. I was actually christened in a small um, town out in the countryside because my parents couldn't even christen me um, in my capital city. So everything had to be hidden. So I was born with almost the patterns of hide just in case somebody doesn't find out. So therefore, my parents' almost kind of generational way of putting on us was you can't say things. When my mother realized that I've got a gift of healing and that I could see the people who crossed over, she was like, please don't say it to anyone. Just don't say nothing. We don't want people to think you're weird or anything like that. So in my business, when I started working for myself uh, nearly a decade ago, it was, I can be free. I can say things. I can speak. And I was, as an energy healer, always about activations, activations of your soul, activations of your purpose, because I went through that opposite in my life. And I had to step into myself, step into myself unapologetically. And I called the feminine group, authentic feminine you group, where I want women to be authentic. Not what the world is telling them, not what an inner childhood, maybe the world made you to be an ice queen. Maybe the world made you because you, that was a part of your survival. But maybe you're coming now in your point in your life where you're going like, no, I want to be true me. And it doesn't mean that you have to be a healer or the psychic or anything like that. You could have just been learning how to speak, how to express yourself, how to have a boundaries. Because maybe you were in a people pleasing mode again because of the childhood, because of something happened in your life and you stepped into the shoes. But now you're going like, I really want to be in my truth and a true alignment. Or maybe it's in your business and you've seen so many testimonials regarding a business where the business grew so much when a woman actually stepped into herself and owning who she is, owning the truth and accepting that she actually wants to make hundreds of thousands of dollars and that it's okay without other people, especially women, judging her. Because the most, what it happens is people are judging. And I know this because that happened to me. Where people would say like, why do you think you have to be making money this much or anything like that? People are doing that. Or women are doing that to another woman. You need to write your path, write it down what you want to have, unapologetically, walked onto it, unapologetically owning your fire, owning your soul, owning your purpose. Whatever it is that you want to have got in your life and your life will start changing. Once when we flick that switch on inside of you and life starts changing, but you need to embody it. You need to embody it fully, completely inside of yourself. Activate every single part of yourself and not operate from the wounds where it's like, I need to prove to the world. You don't need to prove nothing to the world. You just need to be you. 
And you need to believe in yourself every single day. You need to believe in yourself. And when all the negative voices come in, are they real? Are they based on the past? Are they based on somebody who said something to you? Is that a true statement? Can you change it? Can you transmute it? Can you shift it? You can create a life of your desire. And when your life of your desire is full and your cup is full, you've got room to give and room to hold because life is going to give you a curveballs. From time to time, it will. It will be part of your upgrade. It will be part of asking you in which direction are you going. And sometimes, like the seasons in, in, in life, they change from spring to autumn to winter. What is the transition in between all of that? Is it nice? Is it smooth? Or is it like, holy, you know, shit balls, what's happening? But when you're backing yourself up and you know things about yourself deep down, then you're going like, it's part of the ride. I trust myself. And I see the path and I see the goal. Even if you can't physically see it, you feel it because you're trusting yourself. And that internal, like a core muscles, once when the core muscles are strong, even if we are, you know, missed a step or anything like that, the whole body, we can be like a cat and catch ourselves on our feet. But when the core muscles instead of you are weak, and they were not weak when we were little, they can be exercised back again. It can be activated back again instead of you. I believe in you. I lead with my energy. I show it with my energy to me, to my children, to the world.